John, you've had a, a kind of full week now in, in the job, a game as well. I know you were watching from the stands against St Mirren. How has it been for you? Yeah, very good. Very uh, everything that I expected. Uh, the boys, uh, great character, great spirit amongst them. Uh, Self-police themselves in terms of if it's not going too well, they can sort it out for themselves. Uh, needed to get that St Mirren game out of the way. There was trepidation and a little bit of anxiety in our game. Uh, resulting in St Mirren being a better team first half. Second half, we got our second wind and we come strong, could have won the football match. So now that that's done and dusted and then you get a chance to work with them, get to know them a little bit, bit better. And plus, I would imagine one or two of them sort of saying to themselves, well, the gaffer like me, will they fancy me, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, that's your people skills, so you're getting in about them, you're trying to, hopefully, you're putting on training sessions that's invigorating and enjoying it, you get respect that way. And then that takes us into the game on Saturday against Hearts. Um, Really looking forward to it, really am. Looking at the positives from St Mirren, obviously, um, another game unbeaten, clean sheet too. I know that you know both chances had, uh, both sides had chances to win the game, but important to come away with a point. Yeah, it was important when we kept a clean sheet. You know, we says that, and you know, going into the game, I was fully aware that you know that the boys would be trying too hard just to impress a new manager. Uh, but what we did uh, emphasise and the point is, no matter if St Mirren are a better team, for, and it might happen on Saturday against Hearts, or it will happen, that still doesn't mean to say that you concede a goal. You stay you stay solid, resolute, you stay organised, and even within that period when the other team's on top, you can still go and score a goal on a counter-attack, and that was evident. But even in the St Mirren, by their own uh, admission, they never played, they were angry, they never played as well as they can. You know, it brought a smile to my face because individually I was seeing a lot of good stuff. You know, I was hearing a lot about Dean and Goals and um, he was outstanding. So individually he had a fantastic game. Two centre halves defended with their life, really wanted to wear their heart on his sleeve. Two of them were good footballers. Uh, Richie sitting in that midfield with uh, big drapes, you know, solid, hard working. You know, it's basically a real base, you know, for the other four up front to go and try and win you the football match. and. I spoke a lot about spirit and um, the values in which this club, and we can never lose. As soon as we lose that, you know that uh, effort and commitment. As soon as we lose that, then we'll start losing games. First and foremost, that never that has to be instilled in these players for the next ten years. You come and play for Inverness, then you have to make sure you're the right sort with the right character, and you go and do your shift. First and foremost, that's the fundamentals. You can never lose that. Then we go and play off of that, and. The four up top that played on Saturday, plus one or two I've seen in the twenties. Uh, you know, Marley, um, Dorans, Billy, Nick. These got real good footballers, match winners, Mavericks, match winners. I can see it in the training the way they, their feet and they can go and play. And it's up to us, you know, to try and get the ball to these guys to go and do their stuff and go and create that wee bit of magic. And um, then, if it's not happening, it's up to us, you know, it uh, be ten. You know, really going to dig it out and try and get the ball to Bully because although I don't think he had his best game last week, uh, I love the way he goes about his business because in training he scored all kinds of goals left foot, right foot, tap ins, headers, shots, all kinds of goals. And I'm just saying, no wonder you score goals, Bully, because within, no matter if it's good, bad, or indifferent, within half a second the ball's in the back of the net mm. and you've always got that at your disposal if you can keep it solid and so I'm seeing all that and that's maybe getting to know the character of your football team uh, and I'm seeing all that so you know they've trained very very well and all we've done is just you know we don't, if it's no broken don't need to fix it and we'll, so it's carry on uh, never come off that ethos of what we've been playing on and carry on regardless get battered in there as you say, you're 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 looking forward to this weekend's game against Hearts. I take it your first game in the, the dugout. You're going to be in the dugout on 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 Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I'll go in there. Um, you know, but and I'm quite sure there'll be a bit of friendly banter going on. Um, but it'll be water off a duck's back to me. Um, I have to make sure I'm fully concentrated. You know, I'm up against two guys and Gary Lock and Bolly Brown. You know, but I have to make sure I've got my game head on. I'm concentrated. I'm really immersed myself in the game. You know, see if I see a chink in the arm and I can just do a switch or, you know, come up with something that will uh, advantage uh, 
Cali Fissel for us to go and win the football match and that's all I'm concentrated on Saturday. You know, what we do, Inverness, what we do, how we go down there, how we play, how we go about our business. And if we go and do that and play to our best then, you know, hopefully the three points will come back up north to Inverness. I know the Hearts have had quite a torrid time lately on and off the pitch. Um, on the pitch they've picked up a few results but there's, there's still a negative uh, points difference. You won't take them lightly on, on Saturday? No, we're under no illusions uh, what's going on at, uh, at Hearts, um, you know, behind the scenes and, you know, on the pitch. If you look at on the pitch, first and foremost, um, you know, they've come off a, they're coming off the back of a couple of heavy defeats, which makes them a dangerous animal. Uh, and any time you go to Tincastle, it's a fantastic venue to play your football. You know, the, the supporters are very focal, right on top of you, support their team, but right on top of you. Uh, and they demand a, a performance for their team. So no matter who plays for Hearts, I think you have to go and play with a real spirit. And, so that will be the case on Saturday. A lot of young kids in the team, I've seen a lot of these young kids last year playing a lot of times for the reserves, all good enough to go and play in the Hearts first team, so don't be kidded by that. And then, you know, if you look behind the scenes, um, you know, there is a bit of turmoil behind the scenes, but one for being for the other side of the city once, I really hope that, you know, and very, very quickly that they can recover from, because I feel Scottish football's at its best when we've got our top teams in the top flight and that's Rangers and Harps and that's the best for Scottish football and as a coach and a manager you want to be playing against the best um, you know so for a guy coming from the under, other side of the city you know I really pass on my best wishes to him I really do and I really mean that I'm sincere with that I've locked horn, horns with him many many a time and I love it and I love taking their scalp and I love it but uh, there comes a time where you have to stand back and look for the outside in and give respect to a lot of people because when a club like that Harps, a big club like Harps are struggling like that and they're looking to maybe go into administration, it's not the players that really suffer, it's all the hard working people that have been there for years and years and years, you know, um, it probably be the ones that lose their job and suffering, you never wish on that, you know, guys that have, guys and girls that have got, and ladies that have got the, you know, the club at heart and um, real passion for the club, so you know, you wouldn't wish that on anyone. And as I say, I know the importance of Hearts being in the SPL and the importance of Edinburgh derbies and all that stuff. And I'm just hoping that, you know, you'll get one or two that oh, no, they deserve their, their uh, punishment and their medicine and all that stuff. Mm, aye, but I'm a wee bit different. I just really hope, I'm hopeful, hopeful that their recovery is fast and quick and they can get, um, after Saturday that is, you know, they can get back to business. And just finally, any... Um Injury worries or anything? No, like everybody's okay. fit. We're all fit, healthy, ready to go. And I think it was James Vincent just got the nod that he can, this morning, good news that he can up his rehab. He's in good hands with the physio, real good hands, great respect for each other there. So, you know, and I've heard good things about James, so that's good news for us. Excellent, John. Cheers for that. Okay.